Oh, what am I doing? So I'm doing all today with the channel with the Louis Vlogs. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. It's a nice, beautiful day to do some mechanic work and perfect day, perfect timing for everybody. My brother's here. He surprised us, so it's pretty good. Today we're gonna be working on the RAM, my dudes, and it's time to upgrade this bad girl. So, what the next upgrade we're gonna do for the RAM, you guys can see from the title of this video and probably the thumbnail, is this. So I never heard of this before. I never heard of this brand before. Basically, what I'm trying to say, yeah, better yet, I never heard of this brand before. It's Future Trucks Bull Bar. Never heard of this brand whatsoever. I'm not sponsored by anything, but the link's down below if you guys are interested. Basically, it's this. It's a little bull bar, it's a little push bar, what people like to call it. Um, it goes right here in front of the truck. Obviously, it was a big debate. It took me forever to find something that I wanted. Most of the time, everything nowadays, my dudes, everything nowadays is black. Everything is black, black out. You want, you want something, it's black. And I was like, no, black does not look good on this truck whatsoever. I cannot just throw in a black accessory on the truck. That's why it took me a long time to find these step bars. Because I didn't want black. Because everyone has black. I want chrome. And chrome will match the wheels. It will match the handles. It will match the mirrors. So I already had like a chrome thing going along with the truck. So that's why I was looking for something that was in the same chrome. You know, same principles of chrome. Not black. So I found this one. And this one, we're gonna open up right now, has a little surprise for you. So let's open it up right now and let's, let me show you guys a surprise. So opening up this box, it does look pretty big. I know it's heavy from opening up the box, I know it's heavy. This was the first box inside the box. So let's just open up the box inside the box. Okay, I was guessing that's gonna be the hard, all the hardware, all the, hooks the bolts yeah it's all in here i've never done this before so i don't know how it's gonna be oh yeah they gave me everything good job everything but oh even even instructions how to do it sweet awesome that is so tight from future trucks here's their brand right there my dudes this is when i got it in graded LED light bar inside. I wanted this option since I saw it the first time because I didn't like it that they have it up here, which I could go for it, but it, it takes away the whole thing I and mean, that makes it look like an off-road vehicle, which I didn't want to make it look an off-road vehicle. I wanted this to be nice and sleek and wow, my dudes, I don't know how bright these lights are. I don't know if these lights are cheap or not. All I know is that the LED, never heard of this brand, but looks pretty good my dude the quality it is kind of heavy like i said uh it's chrome what i got there's the wires there's the connections i'm curious of how we're gonna put this on my dudes so we're gonna figure it out that's gonna look that's gonna look mean on this truck like a little more aggressive that uh, she's not just beauty like she has a little little a little uh, little right hand swing you know so that's gonna be right here in the front i have the hood up in my dudes because i was doing some light with the LED switches. I'll show you guys that later on. But yeah, let's try to set this up quick. Uh, I just think it's gonna look nice. It's sitting right there. Not too big. It's gonna be just a small little one right there. I think that'll look phenomenal. With the LED light right there. Oh, it's gonna look awesome, my dudes. Oh my God, this looks kinda clean. To be honest, Future Trucks looks really clean. I never heard this brand like I said, but. All right, my dudes, so now that I'm under the truck, I can get a better explanation of what's going on and what I'm looking at. So right here is the frame on the body and it comes down here to the hooks. What the tow hooks are like right here, my dude. You guys can see when you get stuck, the tow hooks. So I gotta have to take off these two for understanding from both sides. And then they wanted me for some reason to take off these plastic plugs that are right here, which are these. So I snapped them off on um, really quick. There's my brother over there is getting the, the next things ready. Finally got it set up. So you guys can see here, we are gonna keep the tow hooks. If you didn't have a choice, we I want to keep them. So we left them on. So this metal plate, which is just one of them, snaps on right here. So to unbolt these and it snaps on. And it comes up to this shape. And then you need an extra arm back here. From goes from right here. This first bolt is back here is the arm. And it connects to right here from the tow hook. If you're keeping the tow hook. If you're not keeping the tow hook, then you're gonna put it up here in this hole. That's why they leave you this hole. Because it makes you decide if you want to keep the tow hook or not keep it. But I want to keep it. And then from once you get this set up, you get this one right here with the circle. It's still loose because you know you don't tie up anything until you're for sure. 
So we had it loose, and this is going to hold the ram bar, which is the bar right here. And I'm hoping that it's enough clearance so it won't hit the tow hook. If not, then we'll figure it out. But that's where we're at right now. It took us a while to figure out this format, but we got it done. Uh, so we're at right now. I'm still going to do the other side. But, yeah. I'm still wearing safety goggles on my head because I just finished um, bolting everything, making it nice and tight, like we said. We leave it loose and then we tighten up at the end. And bam! Look at this, my dudes. We got it set up real nice. And that light hides it. The license plate's there. We left the hooks still intact just in case. Um, and everything's, everything's solid, my dudes. Now the next thing we're going to do is the wire to get the LED light bar working. Like I said, I don't know how bright the LED light bars are. I don't know if they're cheap or not, but it looks clean on the RAM. Let's get it from this side so you guys can see from this angle. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks mean. Not too much, less is more, and I think that, that hits it right, right, right on the money. We, we just had like a little group, hustle, little group study. I got my pops here, I got my brother here. Oh, my brother was helping me out at the beginning. So we're talking about how we're going to run the electrical wire, which is pretty cool. They give us everything that we need for the switch so we don't have to um, get it ourselves and find it at the store or something like that. Um, so we're just brainstorming how we're going to run it. If you guys remember, my dad and I, we did a switch before the BMW. We hooked up to the fan to the BMW, so it would just be a switch from the fan. So we kind of understand what's going on. Well, my dad knows more about switches than I do because electricity, the parallel circuit, then you have a switch and turn it, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, so we're, we're back here um, where we're going to put it, and we decided we're going to run it underneath the steering wheel, and we're going to have it right here. Even though it's going to be backwards on and off, but the light's going to be on, on red and green, so it'll be fine. So we're going to run it right here. And this wire is going to be under here tucked in, nice and cozy. I thought about running it over here, um, but I remember over here the system is. So once I get a system from the previous owner, it left me on the wire. So that's going to be there. So that's a no-no. But yeah, I think right here will be perfect, nice and high and camouflage. And that will run the LED light bar for the for the bull ram, the push bar. And down here, technically, once once we more get down here, we're going we're gonna to wire it straight to the battery. And once we get it up and running, then I'll tell you guys how we head the wire with the zip ties and make the wire look nice and pretty when it's tucked in. But this bar looks amazing, my dudes. I'm loving it. So my dad, right now, um, he's pushing in the wire inside. And then my brother's right here is spotting him and waiting for the wire to come out. Where's he going to come out from, boss? I don't know, man. <laughs> you don't know? So let me show you guys what we're trying to do. So he's trying to get these wires pushed out so we can get the wires from the department instead of running it right here how a lot of people do with their systems and they have it right here on the wall and they run it straight to the battery of the hood i've seen a couple people do it like that i mean it's fine i mean it works I'm not gonna judge but we're trying to do, slide it in there we did this with the bmw before I was trying to do it again with the truck like i said we're gonna put the wire down here so what we did was we made a hole right there which I already had a hole from the system that I had from the previous owner. But so we just made it bigger than it we anticipated. Just because this clip for the thing is really big and the wire is like really skinny. We just gotta push it inside and we got it inside. So now that's inside, we just feed it up. So now my brother can grab it from the other side. And then from the wire down here, you see, I would just tucked it in we just made it look pretty so it won't be like hanging on the feet where I'm, my gas and my brake uh, i probably push it too far because this has to be about right there and that's how we did it my dudes so let me show you guys the engine department so I, like i said i had that hole previously made from the owner before me because he put um a system in it so that's the hole right there my dudes we just made it bigger and that can actually now, we can actually have wire for the engine bay to go down to connect to the lights. And this is what we had in that hole. So we just took it off. And my nephew, where you at, Bubba? Over here. He's looking at the hole. Hey, how do you, how do you like this setup? It looks nice. It looks nice? Yeah, yeah I told you it looks like a little, a, little, a, little, a little stronger now, huh? The Ram Ham's holes now, Bubba. Mm -hmm. so now we got to try the light bar. I hope it works, too. Yeah. Let me tell you what went down, how I did it. it. Took a while to figure it out. 
<laughs> it's a hassle. So the last time we left off, we put that hole. We put that hole in the wall and we ran the plug. We decided to connect the switch, which is has to connect to a ground of the frame. And we connect it right here. So right here, it holds the windshield washer fluid, I believe. Because it comes through here and it probably comes through here. So I'm guessing that's the windshield. So we put so you put it inside there. We zip tied it to hold it in place. Um, we still got to cut that end. And then from right here, it goes to this switch, which is connects to the switch, my dude. That's one of the wires. Connects to the switch. Obviously, that's going to go right here. But we haven't connected yet. We just extended and left it there. And then coming over here is the battery part, my dudes. So we need a positive and negative to connect, which is these guys right here. I'm going to be wanting to run it outside from the battery instead of over the battery. So positive right there, negative right there. Only issue was we needed more wire. So we did just extend the wire. You guys can see as we have these two right there. So that just we'll just put that down there for right now. It's cool to do everything professional. They even give you like a little fuse box for it, which is really cool. And then we ran the big wire, which has a, has a twisting. So we got this wire which is connects to the LED light. So we ran it from right here, behind the frame, behind all this. So as you guys can see, it's right there. Behind the battery, behind the fuse box. And it goes from right here. It goes down there. And let me jump down here, my dudes. This took longer than I thought, my dudes. It's almost like, in the, it's almost sunset. It's worth it though. So down here, we come to right here, my dudes. So from down here, you guys can see the wire. Let's find the wire. The wire is right here. So we came down from right here, my dudes. I grabbed it. Two options, go over the frame or under the frame right here. I just had to go over the frame. So it comes out to right here. There's the wire. And then these have to connect. For some reason, they did not give us the male version they only gave us the female or opposite vice versa yeah female we need the male so to connect to right here so we connect to right here that's what we're missing is just the male the connection which we do have on us that's perfect that we do have it and then from there and then from there we can finally zip tie everything and make it look nice and pretty and tuck in everything and then we can shoot the lights to see how bright they look that's where we are right now, my dudes. Around the wire, a little bit different. My dad said that it would be better if we just fo follow the, the wire harness. Electrical tape, obviously, for the rain to be protected. Zip tie right there. We took off, as you guys saw in the beginning, we took off these. Which you're not supposed to. We're supposed to because we have the weather cover right here. But I didn't have, obviously, but it came in handy to zip tie it. So I took those off. Everything's set. Run the wire up here, we more zip tie, we follow the hardness, like we said, we went under here, all the way up to the top. Let me show you guys the top. I haven't seen the lights yet, so you guys are gonna see it with me, so you guys are gonna see my reaction. So coming up here to the top, you guys saw, we had a whole bunch of extra wire, which is nice, that they do have like a lot of extra wire, so we just zip tied it, make it nice and pretty. We zip tied it right here. We ran this fuse right here, one negative, positive, floats out like that. We still gotta cut this right here, which is fine for right now. And then we come inside the cabin of the Ram. Um, we still gotta tape this right here. I still gotta clean up here on the floor. But you guys can see that it works. So this is, this is gonna be like right here. You gotta, don't make it tight so the wire won't be pulling. It's gonna make it like a little bit loose. And it'll be right there. Like I said in the beginning, it's gonna be backwards with the off and on. Supposed to be like that, but we can put it sideways, it doesn't really matter. All right, moment of truth. Um, let me put my keys in, make sure we got the battery. Then we're gonna test it out. Then we're gonna test it out, my dudes. All right, you guys ready? All right, so now we're gonna flip the switch. Ready? Is it on? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty bright. You can see from off the reflection. Oh, you know what? That that's that is nice, dude. Oh, I wish you could change. The colors. That is future trucks right there, dude. I wish you could change the colors. Maybe like. Colors. You want to change the colors? Yeah. I think I think that's fine, dude. I don't think. Have to wait till the night. Yeah, to the night. Uh, so I'm gonna clean up 
at, at the night, I bring out the camera again, and I see how really bright they are, but they're on. Oh, I'll turn off the music. Sorry, my dudes, but that's, that's really, that, that's awesome. You know, the light, the light bar, I want it built in inside, because I feel like if I want the other way around, like other people were doing it, like Jeeps and other trucks I've seen, well, they mount the LA light bar right here on top, or they put it right here on top, but that gives away, and for me, it gives me like a whole different type of vibe that's an off-road vehicle off-road truck which i didn't like that which is pretty cool don't get me wrong but i just want to keep it nice and like stealth mode you know and have the light bar and built and it looks awesome i love it my dudes i love it so at night time i'll bring out the camera and we'll see how bright it is you guys can see sunset we have the led lights on uh, i'm doing a little experiment from People that I heard about, I probably talk about a different video, but for right now, if they do work, I'll talk about it. If they don't work, then I'm gonna take them off. The point is to figure out how bright this light is, since my pops parked behind me, so I'm not gonna do like a full, I guess, vlog of down the street. Uh, for right now, I just wanna do this video. I'll probably do a different video. I just wanna see how bright they are off the garage wall. Which obviously, they'll be bright. Ooh, you guys see the little red light? That means they're off. It should work without um the key in night in, in the battery seat because just because it's the fact that wire is straight to the battery, so it should just work just like that. So let's just try it out. And there it is. And there it is, my dude, just bouncing off the wall. I mean, it does does justice. Like I said, it's not like the, the best thing, but any light added fixture to your vehicle will do spectacular things. But it looks pretty bright. And then Obviously, that does look pretty good. And then if we have the LED lights with the RAM, it's going to be a super bright down the street. But I just love how clean it looks. Like, it looks so clean, my dudes. Like, you don't know you have LED lights until, like, you have them. Like I said, drop the video. So, having them here or up here, like, it, it gives away that off-road look. But just having it like this, it looks good, my dudes. These guys are going to turn off in a couple of minutes. And then we're just focused on this light bar. But I love it, my dude. Like, I am liking it. This under look. Damn, that's pretty. All right, my dude. So we're doing more stuff to the Ram, more stuff to the Miata. Subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out, my dudes.